when lipsticks don't like to come off. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. I am here today to talk about some things I have recently bought from Ulta and Sephora that I am just really excited about and just wanted to talk to you about them, do some swatches, and um, yeah. If you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let's start with what I am most excited about. I am wearing it on my eyes right now. This is the new Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. Okay, I live for Christmas. That's just who I am. I live for Christmas and I live for gingerbread. Like, it is my thing. My thing. Like, when Starbucks comes out with their gingerbread drinks, I get them like into January, February, until my store runs out of the syrup because I just love gingerbread so much. And this smells so good. I knew as soon as I first saw this, I had to buy it immediately, and I did. And, oh my goodness, it just smells so good. And besides the fact that it's Christmas related, besides the fact that it smells like gingerbread, this is the prettiest palette. It is so freaking pretty. I had so much fun playing with it today. I used a bunch of different shades. I used gingerbread latte, gingerbread, and spice is nice in my crease. I did a little bit of looky at my cookie to blend everything out. And then on one half of my eye, I used hot toddy, which is this beautiful, almost duochrome shade. It is really pretty. And then I use a little bit of bake it till you make it on the outer part of my lid and then on the inner corner I use spiced eggnog which I love eggnog also and it's just so bright and so pretty these shades are just amazing some of them are just so pigmented and so dreamy I can't I can't stand it these are beautiful and the mattes blend out really nice too let's get a close-up of my eye so never mind the specks of mascara that's my bad it is so pretty. I just love these colors so much. I love this palette. This is my favorite palette by far, ever, ever. And to go along with that, another little kit that Too Faced came out with uh, for Christmas this year was this, uh, what is it called? The Sweet Smell of Christmas, Christmas Treats Liquid Lipstick Set. And now I already love their Melted Matte Lipsticks and I do have the full size gingerbread one that came out last year and they re-released it this year. This one came with four little miniatures and I have a miniature one of these, they last a pretty long time. This one is Hot Buttered Rum, it's what I am wearing today. It smells so good. And it's really pretty. It's just a good, like, warm, darker nude color. This one is pumpkin spice. And it smells so good. Like, these all smell really good. Oh, it smells just like pumpkin spice. It really does. I've said it in my videos before. I just, I love when my makeup smells good. And Too Faced just does it so well. Like, a few years ago, they came out with a, um... A Christmas in New York cafe like kit and it had a gingerbread latte palette an eggnog palette a peppermint mocha palette oh you bet I bought that immediately this one is in sugar cookie right there that really light cool tone nude smells good also of course and then this last one is cinnamon bear which I, I I don't know, I'm confused by it. What's a cinnamon bear? Like a gummy bear? It's a nice red. And look how pigmented those are. They are beautiful. They do feel a little bit drying on my lips, but I didn't really put on any lip balm or anything beforehand this morning, so my lips were kind of dry to begin with. But they are beautiful and they smell so good. So that's all of the Christmas stuff that I bought so far. I mean, it's only September. And a lot of brands are coming out with all of this Christmas stuff. And you can bet that I'm going to buy more, at least more of the Too Faced ones before Christmas is over. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on. I did get another Too Faced lip product. This is a Melted Metallic lipstick in the shade Bitch I'm Too Faced. It's, um, it's like a red with like pink iridescence. 
it's really pretty. Um, I've only worn it once and I liked it. Um, it's not like crazy metallic. Like I've got some by NYX that are like super metallic. This is just like a nice kind of shiny, pretty color. I think it'll be really good for the holidays, at least when I'm not wearing those. These ones I feel like will be a little bit more suited for like Thanksgiving and then these will be like Christmas. Speaking of NYX, I bought three more um, of their suede matte lip liners. I've been really into lip liners lately. I'm trying to learn to overline my lips a little bit because I really don't have much lip to work with. Um, I got the shade Subversive Socialite, which I have the liquid suede of this, so it matches. It's just a nice purple color. I love purple lipstick. This one is Respect the Pink, which is a nice, soft, Barbie pink color. And then this one in Violet Smoke, which is more of a gray-toned purple. Right there. These are really nice. I like them, and they're only $4 a piece. Um, I mean, they work fine. They're not the smoothest but they're not like really rough either. So I, I can work with them for four bucks. I can, I've got a ton of them now. I did get another lipstick. I've been really into lipsticks lately. This is a MAC lipstick. This is in Please Me. It is a matte, it's just a nice pink color. I like to call colors like this like Barbie pink, but I think it's pretty it's really pretty it's just nice and soft and simple I have a couple MAC lipsticks now and I'm understanding the hype of why everyone has always loved them so much let's see what we have left okay we have a mascara I recently got one of these from Marshalls but it was a brown one and at my Ulta they don't have a MAC section they just have a few little goodies so I got this small MAC uh, what is it called? In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. I've been wearing this every day, either this one or the brown one, and uh, I just love it. I love it so much. I don't make a really big mess with it like I do with a lot of mascaras. A lot of mascaras, like I get it all over the lash line or a lot up here, and throughout the day I have a problem with uh, mascara is transferring up here as I sweat this one I have not experienced with that yet and it's not like real waterproof or anything either where like it's hard to get off it's just perfect I really like it it's just simple enough it's not like whoosh whoosh but it's whoosh you know it's good and then I got two brow products I got this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Medium Brown. I got this during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty when this was on sale for like $11. I've been using it, but only because I ran out of my NYX Micro Brow, which is my favorite one. I use it today. I don't like it as much as a NYX uh, Micro Brow. I think because, I don't know if it's the shape or that it's just a little bit creamier. It's not a bad eyebrow pencil, but it's not my favorite and I will continue to use it and even half off it's still more expensive than the NYX one. And then I got this Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3 which was a total impulse buy at that little stand that they have at the checkout. I grabbed it. It's not even my shade. It's not. This was like 24 bucks. Um, it's not bad though. I don't think it does anything like amazing for my brows because my brows are always, they're like already like real bushy in the front. So I don't notice it doing anything crazy. I should try it on its own though without brows on already and see what it does. But I definitely could have gone with the darker shade. Oh well. Then I got two, two more eyeshadow palettes. This one I had been wanting for a long time and it went on sale. I think I mentioned this at the end of a Marshalls haul, maybe? as like a surprise. Um, this is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey eyeshadow palette and it smells really good. Oh God, I love Too Faced. <laughs> I love them so much. Um, I had the peanut butter and jelly one for a long time and I really wanted to get this because I do also like peanut butter and honey sandwiches. And this shade right here, Honey Buns, I am in love with. It's just this matte yellow, but I'm obsessed. I love putting it all over the lid and then mixing in like some browns or something. And it's just a soft, simple, nice look. And I love it. 
Wait, no, I have two more eyeshadow palettes. We'll start with this one. I really never had any, like, I always like lean into the camera. I get excited, I'm sorry. I need like a strap to like hold me back in my chair, so I stopped doing that. Um, I really never had any like inclination to buy a Naked palette. I always thought if I did, it would be like Naked 3 or the Naked Heat one. But when this was announced that it was being discontinued and it got half off, I was like, you know what, okay. So I got the original Naked palette before it went completely extinct. And I knew from the start that I already liked at least two of the shades in here because I have a little Too Faced, uh, I forget what it's called, like maybe the Gunmetal Shadow Box or something, which was like the first high-end eyeshadow palette I got. And my favorite shade in there was Sin and they have it in here. Like I've been wanting to get a full size one, but a full size one is like 20 something dollars, 21 maybe, and this whole palette was only 27. So I was like, well, might as well, because I also know I like the shade Smog because that was also in that other palette. Um, there's something different though. Like there's something different about this Sin than in the shadow box that I had, but it's not a bad palette. I like it. I'll continue to use it. It's a nice neutral palette. I mean, there's a reason why it's so hyped up and why it's the OG. Oh, liquid lipsticks don't like to come off. Okay, now the last thing that I bought from Ulta. This is also an impulse buy. I had been wanting it also since I first saw it on Instagram because I just love the colors. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. They only had one left and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. I already have the Modern Renaissance and the Subculture and I love both of them. And this one, the colors literally speak to my soul. I keep spitting at the camera, like I'm just so excited. Um, these colors are beautiful. They are so amazing. Let's just swatch like all of the metallics. The metallics are really soft, like crazy soft. So you have to be careful but they are beautiful. Then this celestial shade. Oh, yes. They're all so pretty. My favorite shade in here, though, is actually a matte shade. It's this one right here, Love. It's just this beautiful, soft pink. It's just perfect. Like, I tried this palette out once and I like put that all over my lid. It's so pretty, this palette. Yeah. Okay, so I think that is finally it for everything that I have recently got at Sephora and Ulta. Yeah, I thought it was only fair that I share, you know, where else I spend all of my money, not just at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know if you want me to do any looks like on camera with any of these palettes or any of these lipsticks or anything because I would love to do that if you want to see it. Okay, thanks. Bye.